Welcome to the Electro New Product Recommendation Channel. The product I want to recommend to you today is called Raspberry Pi Mini Tower Cooling Case. This video will teach you how to assemble the Raspberry Pi Mini Tower Cooling Case and demonstrate its functions. So without further ado, let's get straight to the point. This is the outer box packaging. This is all the parts inside the outer box packaging. First take out a Raspberry Pi 4B motherboard. Paste the thermal pad on some important chips of Raspberry Pi. For easy installation, you can insert the TF card to the motherboard first. Next, take out the tower, CPU cooling fan and two metal brackets. Fix two metal bracket to the bottom of the cooling fan with M2.5 screws. Special attention should be paid to the fact that the metal bracket B should be installed at the end close to the fan. Remove the blue mounting base from the ABS mini tower case. Stack the blue mounting base the Raspberry Pi and the tower CPU cooling fan one by one. Then, turn the whole thing over and press the top of the threaded post of the metal bracket. Screw it in from under the blue mounting base. It should be noted here that the tower CPU cooling fan should face in the same direction as the Raspberry Pi power port. Install the GPIO Edge extension on the GPIO pin of Raspberry Pi. Install the blue mounting base back onto the ABS Mini Tower case. Fix with M2.5 flathead screws from the bottom of ABS Mini Tower case. Connect the 2x6 female connector connecting the OLED driver board to the GPIO interface of the Raspberry Pi. Connect the 4-pin cable of cooling fan to the 4-pin connector on the OLED driver board. Finally, take out the two transparent acrylic baffles, place them on both sides of the chassis respectively, and fix them with screws. After assembling this step, the mini tower power kit is complete. Next, let's take a look at what are the highlights of the ABS mini tower case. The first highlight is that the tower case has slots on all sides to make it easier for other devices to connect to the Raspberry Pi. For example, this side leads out the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi from the slot, which makes it easier to connect with external hardware. For another example, this side is convenient for users to insert and remove TF cards. The second highlight is that the cooling fan can be controlled by the program. When you connect the power to the Raspberry Pi, you will find that the cooling fan starts to spin up quickly after a few seconds. Then after a few seconds, the RGB light string on the cooling fan is also turned on. Now that the cooling fan can be controlled by a program, we need to connect an external display to it. Here, it is recommended to use the latest media screen launched by Electra, which not only has a large screen and various functions, but also comes with a variety of backlight RGB lighting effects. The effect after connecting the media screen in the tower case looks pretty cool. Here we use Python language for programming to control the cooling fan. Change the number and the red circle to zero and run the program to control the cooling fan to stop rotating. The third highlight is the customizable display of OLED screen content. Unlike the cooling fan, the OLED screen needs to be controlled through the terminal. Enter the above commands in sequence in the terminal to see which programs can be implemented on the OLED screen. Here we need to download and install some library files first. Please refer to the manual 
for the specific installation method. Then enter the program execution command in the terminal to run the program. Here is a brief demonstration of the display effects of the three programs. Interested users can try to run other programs themselves.